Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And if you guys have been watching our channel for a while, you know that we enjoy diners. We've been to a couple here in Pigeon Forge already, one over in Sevierville, and we've had several people request for us to try this one out. So where are we headed to today, boys? Corner Diner. Here is a look at the menu. They have breakfast specials, omelets, waffles, pancakes, French toast, and the full menu is served all day here at the Corner Diner. Here is more of a lunch menu where they have dream boats, which are subs, smash burgers, corner special, knuckle sandwiches, homemade soups and salads, and here are the beverages as well as the sides. There's quite a few sides to choose from there. And then coffees and smoothies. And here are some specials that they have for each night of the week. There's the Monday Family Night, Tuesday Slingo, Chicken and Waffles on Thursday, Trivia Friday, and Breakfast for Dinner Saturday and Sunday. How cool is this? While we're waiting on the food, they brought the boys out an Etch-A-Sketch. There's a Mr. Potato Head. And look at this, a Viewmaster. What do you see there, Henry? I see a kangaroo in it. <laughs> All right, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but let's see if it, let's see if it does. It sure does. Well, that's a hyena. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, our food just arrived. Gentry, what'd you get, bud? Scrambled eggs for french fries. And those french fries look like they're really well seasoned. Jennifer, how about you? I got traditional spaghetti with garlic toast. Looks really good. And that traditional spaghetti looks really delicious. It looks like there's meat sauce in there. Is that a meatball that I see off to the side too? Wow. Hey, what did you get today? I get hot dog with mustard, and I mix up some little bit of more, yeah. I get some more, um, like, uh, get some more of this. That's uh -huh. mustard. <laughs> yeah, I get mustard, I get some more mustard, and said, Daddy got microphone, so I don't need microphone today. <laughs> What are those next year hot dogs? Um, fries. Is that and, home fries? Um, I got some ketchup. Yeah, you love home fries, don't you? And I ended up getting their traditional burger. It comes with two different smash burgers here, along with their house sauce. And as you can see, it's like a combination of mayonnaise and ketchup combined. Almost like a little bit of Thousand Island-ish. Um, but she said it was a combination of ketchup and mayonnaise and you can see some other elements in there too Like some spices, so we'll see how that tastes here in a sec And for my side, I had to go with the potato salad You guys know when we go to diners, I always get the potato salad Alright, Gigi, you've had an opportunity to eat your food Looks like you've cleaned up almost the entire plate yes. How are the eggs and fries? They're really good I think that the seasoning on the fries is just the right amount and the eggs they're really good, so you gotta come here. All right, and Henry, you're chomping down on those fries too. You got a little ketchup and mustard mixture, the ketchup and mustard mixture on the hot dog and the home fries. What do you have? What does that mean? Two thumbs up. <laughs> Must be pretty good. Two thumbs up, Henry seal of approval. And Jennifer. This is really good spaghetti. It's very traditional. It's a good zesty, meaty sauce and the noodles are cooked perfectly as well. It looks delicious. We're in. You gonna dig into that potato salad? I am. It looks to be a mayonnaise-based potato salad. Here's the first bite. That's really delicious. You get a good bite of the potato with a potato skin flavoring in there. It's very creamy. And I do prefer potato salad with mustard base versus the mayonnaise base, but I will say, this mayonnaise-based potato salad is probably my favorite that I've had so far at, at the diners in this area. I mean, without question, it's my favorite mayonnaise-based potato salad I've had in this area. Very good. Now I'm going to try this burger. Look at all that hamburger meat. It looks so good. Look at that. That burger is fantastic. You can taste all of the seasoning within the hamburger meat. Uh, the, the two layers of the cheese. Sometimes you get the double cheese where they put just one slab of cheese on there, but they put two slices of cheese on there. And then the house sauce is what really caps it off. But I will say that the cheeseburger in itself, the actual hamburger meat with the seasoning, excellent. You tried some of your garlic bread. Now, what are your thoughts on that garlic bread? It's really good. It's buttery and uh, just enough toast on there. Really good. Check out how cool these tables are. So all these tables have like King Kong, 
Godzilla. All right, so all of the tables here have magic eight balls. So Gentry, if you could ask the magic eight ball any question, what would you ask? Will we ride a mountain coaster? Uh-oh, it's undetermined, what's it say? Without a doubt, which one are we gonna ride first? What's it say? It is certain. How about that? <laughs> Here is the final bill. We also have a QR code where you can pay. The final bill for everything that we had here came out to a grand total of $53.13. That was the Corner Diner. Henry, what do you think about the Corner Diner, buddy? It's good. I like to turn around. Okay, what about your hot dog and home fries? It was good. I like to usually turn and um today I saw a tractor somewhere. Yeah, and you really enjoy the toys that our waitress brought out. She was really nice, wasn't she? Yeah, um Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, that was and your favorite toy? I saw the um the animal. What was that with him? Oh, the viewfinder. The viewfinder? Yeah, finder. Seeing all I the animals? Yeah, I see all the animals. And like, what did you draw? I drew... It was a red board with on the top. It just gets... It's a circle. And I draw the circle of that. Great. And Gentry, what did you think about the meal, bud? I gotta say, if you're in the area and you love diners, this should definitely be a fun attraction for your kids and everything. So, you should definitely come here. I agree. And Jennifer, what were your thoughts on that spaghetti? I really enjoyed it. It was really good. The noodles were cooked perfectly. They weren't mushy. They were, you know, just right. And the sauce was chunky. And there was really enough for two people. So, if you're just coming here for like a, a quick lunch, two people could have eaten that. Before I even point out my food, I have to talk about the service. There were three employees who were working here. All three were very attentive, very helpful, very kind, and very sincere and authentic when they were asking us if there's anything they could help us with. You could tell that they take a lot of pride uh, in, their, in their restaurant. In between when they were helping tables, they were just cleaning up the place, tidying the place, and really just the upkeep was really standing out to me. It was just so clean in here, like I said, so attentive. The customer service was great. but. Let's talk about the food. That cheeseburger was my favorite of the four diners that we've been to here in this area. Now, with the cheeseburger in mind, um, the burger in itself was delicious. Don't know where Henry's going to. Stay off the road, buddy. <laughs> Stay off that road. So the cheeseburger was delicious, but that sauce is really what added and really enhanced it just a little step further. When it comes to the potato salad, I personally enjoy mustard potato salad a little bit more. Had a fire truck go by. Thank you guys for your service. If you are a first responder, we thank you for your service and for what you do for your community. Uh, so we're gonna go take two. When it comes to the potato salad, I prefer mustard salad versus the mayonnaise, but I will tell you as far as the mayonnaise-based potato salads that we've tried at any restaurant here in the Smoky Mountains area, my favorite mayonnaise-based potato salad has been here at the Corner Diner. All in all, guys, if you're looking for a very inexpensive meal that is delicious with great service, it's a very clean restaurant, very attentive uh, customer service as well, look no further than here at the diner in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday. Woo!